Okay, here we've got several meters, only one of which is true RMS, and that's this one here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to start out, and I'm going to test these meters, and I'll use the clamp meters first. And I'm going to test the amperage draw of a 100 watt load that is just an incandescent light so it's a straight load no electronics and then I'm going to check a hundred watt LED line and we'll see if there's a difference okay here's the load we're going to light up this is a hundred watt incandescent light bulb just plugged into a hundred and twenty volt outlet and we will check amp draw using a uh, standard meter and then we'll I got a couple of standard meters I'll use those and then I'll try a true RMS and let's see what we get okay this is a UEI DL 49 okay we're showing about 0.85 to 87 amps let's try another uh, meter Okay, here we have a Fluke 333, and it's showing about 7 tenths of an amp, it only goes to tenths. Now we're going to try a true RMS meter. Here we have a field piece SC260, that is a true RMS meter. Okay, it's run about 0.85 amps okay now we're going to hook this up to a an LED now LEDs have to have DC so they have to have electronics to make the 120 AC into the trop proper voltage DC so they use electronics to do this they use pulsing electronics uh, which I'll discuss in another video and let's see what happens there okay you can't see this very well but that's an LED right up there that's a hundred watt LED I'll check it with two standard meters and one RMS meter okay here's a DL 49 and we're reading 0.42 amps that's the first meter I'm setting up with the LED, 0.42 amps. Okay, the Fluke is running about 0.4. So it's running about the same as the UEI. Okay, with the uh, RMS meter, 0.9. So we're running you know, before we run 0.86 uh, for the incandescent light and for the same power consumption light, we should be reading about the same reading. Well, we're 0.9, so we're pretty close. Now that's double what the standard meters read. So what's the conclusion here? If you are trying to do amp draw readings on parts that have electronics in them even if you're checking the amp alternating current coming in see I'm checking the current coming in I'm not checking what the DC that's going to the light I'm checking the AC current it's going to read differently if you're uh, trying to test uh, electronics you know, and so many things are electronics. Our ECM motors are all electronic. Uh, you can't check them with the old meters. They just won't read accurately. Okay, that's a comparison of amp draw with a true RMS meter on an electronic circuit compared to the older meters that were not RMS.